My talent is making people happy. You'll never want to get rid of Keith as a friend, ever. He's a loving person. He comes, shakes everybody's hand. He cook, he funny, he's outgoing. It's shocking. It's shocking to the taste buds. That's all I can tell you. All flavor, no grease speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? The food will come out how you feel. I got days where I came in feeling Great, Tony the Tiger, great. And you know when the food hitting, 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 like when it's real, real good, because then you got the people doubling back, coming back two times, three times. That's what I like to see. Hey, how's it going? I'm Keith Garrett, owner of All Flavor No Grease. The kind of food that I make is Americanized Mexican food. Tacos, burritos, and quesadillas. I put a spin on the Mexican food, I'll say. Instead of the salsa verde, I have more of a cilantro-based sauce, for starters. When you see my taco compared to the traditional taco, it's like, wow. It's like on a whole nother level. I am most known for my quesadillas, the triple threat to be exact. That's chicken, steak, and shrimp. Let's go, Showtime at the Apollo, Showtime. What's up, Shit tastes like life. <laughs> it's delicious. It's, it's, it's good. It's worth the wait. Yeah. We've been here for like an hour and a half. People line up around the corner for this shit right here. Both of my parents taught me to cook. He may take the base of my recipe, but then he puts his touch on it that takes it to another whole level. Can you tell us what's in your seasonings? I don't think we could disclose that information. This is my mama house. Like McDonald's would say, for a limited time only, because it'll be mine soon. Good morning! Well, it's about 8.15 about right now. We're preparing for a regular day on Manchester Western in front of the Ralph's parking lot. We're making our house green sauce. Look at Jay Quan, he over here really acting like he working. See? Chopping the shit out them tomatoes. He ain't doing shit either. We'll get it cracking about, say, 11.30, 12 o'clock. And then shit, this is all history from there. I am from the east side of Watts. I've been born and raised in this community for 65 years. It was hard coming up over there, being less fortunate, of course, especially being a big guy my whole life. I think the jokes really were hurting me the most. But he turned it really into humor. And, you know, he didn't let it get him down. To hear a fat joke had become immune to me. Ain't no more being sad, no more crying in the corner no more. It's like, all right, now you gotta adapt. Don't panic. Yeah, it's not sticking. No stickies. Hey, there we go. Hey. After getting out of high school, the confidence level didn't make me really want to be in the public too much. That's what made me always really want to stay on the block. So I'm like, if I'm going to get some money over here, the least I could do is probably, you know, turn into a street pharmacist in some type of way. <laughs> I was hustling, getting it from every way I knew how, straight up. I prayed about the situation. I'm like, Lord, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of going to get an ounce or a half ounce, sometimes two ounces. I'm like, no, nah, that's not it. One of my boys came. He was like, he was like, hey Sam, I ain't got no money, but I got some EBT. I actually took that $150 in food stamps. I opened up a candy house. He started uh, with a little candy store right here in the living room. Get all the flavored candy that he knew the children enjoyed. Snickers, Reese's, Twix, Kit Kats, Razzmatazz, Tootie Fruities. Three months later. I was down the street chilling with some homies. Out the blue, they like, Sam Bam, you should start selling tacos. And laughed about it. It was another fat joke, of course. And everybody laughed except him. He like, sell them how your mama make them. All right, y'all want to be funny? I'm going to try it. And that's when the light came on, and that's when he started out front. I sold the little ones, two for a dollar, and sold the ones for a dollar. Good morning. And it was a success. First day, I sold out, two hours, bro. We out here, we got the little poncho grill right here. Homies right here before my mama made a Garden of Eden. But it was a mess because everything was going from the front yard to the kitchen. And my kitchen is only, you know, <laughs> so big. It was horrible. But I was patient. This is it. Like I said, this little, it's what you make it. We didn't have a lot. But we took what we had and made it what it was. Now, you're not going to say nothing with me? Oh, yeah. Bop. This all the time. I said, what is Bob? Bob is Bob, Mama. One morning, early in the morning, like three in the morning, I just woke up like, boom. I said, all flavor, no grease. Straight out the dream, though. Mama, wake up, wake up. I'm like, all flavor, no grease. 
She like, that's catchy. A F N G. Why don't you come and see? We have burritos and tacos waiting. Wonderful quesadillas too. All the food is delicious and it's waiting here for you. Pop 12 inch flour Diana tortilla shell. Nice handful of cheese spread out. Monterey Kobe Jack. Boneless killer chicken breast seasoned to perfection. All for you. What's up with it, baby? I see you. You gotta come back. Hey, tomorrow I'm gonna have a food truck over here. Pull up. On the bus, fool. I seen the chicken quesadilla in a dream as well. Yellow orangeness of the meat, the colorful pico de gallo, everything. It was a stripper came through. She had about 69,000 followers, I'll never forget it. And she had seen the quesadilla trending. So she was like, oh, I came over to try one of these. She posted it after she gave us that shout out and went skyrocket through the roof, basically. We got all flavor no grease t-shirts. These 20 to the homies, everybody else 30. All right, all right, all right, all right. Police was hating one of them little new cops around there. He didn't know that I made a transition from hustling over there with the weed to hustling with the food now. You get a letter in the mail. To whom it may concern, cease and desist operation immediately. They shut down the operation because we was having too much traffic in the middle of the streets. Like, you're doing too much out the front yard. Basically, it's time to elevate. I went back about a month later. I had my deposit from saving my money up. And hey, it was it was curtains after that, man. I got on the food truck and it just felt like home. I was just amazed, like, damn, like, did it. From the front yard to a food truck, bro. Ah, I'll take it. <laughs> I ain't successful yet. I'm grinding every day. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get better every day. When you're dedicated to anything, you're gonna put your all into it. Like a train that don't never stop. Can we take a picture with you and put it on course. and post it to Facebook? Of course, let's take okay. it right here. Yeah, I consider myself famous. When you think about where you started from, and then it's like when you're just walking around and they see you and the way they embrace you. We do cater to all different types of celebrities. Rest in peace to the homie Nipsey. I mean, that's always for starters. He was always a big supporter of us too. My boy Bow Wow, feel me? Like shit. I am 52 years old and I've never stood in this parking lot because of certain reasons, but you see this right here? Gave me the courage and the strength to come here right now. Our mission statement is gonna be to bring all walks of life together. Ain't no discriminating on nobody. So you know how you got a little bit of hate in your blood sometimes? Get that shit out, cause we love everybody now. And that's the only way I'm doing business with you. I'm gonna embrace you 100%, show you that you're safe. It's more than just food. It's an inspiration to young entrepreneurs. He started from the ground up. He's inspired to a lot of the black and you know minorities in the communities. He's an icon. People look up to him because they, they've heard, they've read, and they see his journey. The morals that my mom and dad installed in me was to trust God. Hey, Sammy has been active in the church. He's there every Sunday. He's our church drummer. I sing. I'm one of the praise leaders. It's so dope when she goes to different churches or she's singing at concerts, and she can say, um, I have my son Samuel to accompany me on the drums. I love it. I love it. A lot of people ask, like, how do a lot of shit manifest or happen for you? And it may sound cliche, but when I tell them, like, God made it happen, the Bible verse says, silver and gold have I none, but all that I have I give unto thee, and that's my talent. None of us, we had no control over what we were going to be born into. So we gotta really just take advantage. Figure it out. Think of a solution to the problem instead of becoming a part of the problem. I No, I'm not gonna be able to save the world. I'm not. I just feel like I got a couple just a couple tips and pointers I just like to share with the next generation that's coming up. I showed them I'm from the hood too. Straight from the lowest of the lowest in LA. You want to just try to help somebody else because they're really walking blind, looking for it, looking for the love. So I want to be there to give them that hug and then give them a meal. You feel me? You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. I know you went through this, but just know at the end of the day, God love you. I love you. You love yourself. You love yourself. That's the most important part. As long as you love yourself and chase whatever you think is great, then you'll become successful. My hallelujah belongs to you. Words cannot describe how proud I am. My husband passed away in December. And that was the last thing he told him that day. He said, I'm so proud 
of you, son. I'm so proud of where you've come from and what you're doing. He said, just keep going to make us proud. As I reach levels of success, I go in my corners to myself and I just really thank God because I see the growth. I always rewind back, sisters. All flavor, no grease. We all seem like a dream sometimes. He deserves it. He just tried to put extra work on his worker, you know? How? You ain't did nothing but bust I down some tomatoes. Oh, you thought you did something because you cut a cilantro? <laughs> <laughs>